Today we are vlogging for Cushware, first of the month. Uh, it's May 8th, I think. We're about to pick up Rizzo, Scoop Steve, and we're gonna hit the road and well, hopefully we meet some cool characters and do some cool shit. See you then. We're free. Oh, he's uncaged. Oh, for toll. Oh, I got one, but that's good. Stat fest. Does it say it? It says 2020. Fuck. Stat fest. This is the part of Jersey they don't show you on TV. Wow. Is that them over there? I imagine. Oh, Kush, right? Through, like what you were talking about, some new concepts. Um, yeah, we were just talking about sure. concepts here. Of I'm the cowboy, apparently. It's yeah. It's so basically, either exterior, small skeleton around the whole thing, or interior. I'd rather do it on the outside to save space. Full squares around, just oh, to okay. just to brace lateral movement. Yeah. This is perfect. This is perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. It's perfect. perfect. This is. So yeah. to, I'm going to share with you guys to give you an idea. This is the tentative. I'll watch your feet on the ground. You just stepped That's off. fine. It's fine. It's all right. You're already stepped on. <laughs> <laughs> stepped off it. So this is the layout. So the, actually, the front door is going to be on that side. Mm -hmm. Like that's where the entry would be, and then this is where the glass window would be. So on they're that all. Side. Good. It's going to be a bunch of houses like this. Yeah. Is there going to be solar? Um, solar is uh, going to power the whole thing. Uh, vertical wind turbine and solar. So that's it's like Lego. Like Lego. Stack them. Yep. Stack them. Move them. For my own personal one, I'd probably double stack it. Have a second floor. Yeah. You've done that before too. That's fire. Oh yeah. Yes. Ah. So it sits right on there, and then this twists it and locks it in the place. Shut it down. This is about a $3,600 dollar can do with the cutout, and they'll put a, a steel door in there and everything. This is perfect. Dude. It is. This is exciting. I know, right? Change the escape of living. <laughs> I want to live in one of these. <laughs> I that's why I wouldn't put one on my land. I have a, I have a very small in. piece of land. Yeah. I'm gonna turn it into a micro farm. When we start acquiring the land, we're going to start placing all these things on it. And then yeah. members would be able to acquire their own stuff. Is the piece here. It's going to be the tie-in. So everything here is the brain. So inside of there is going to be the brain. And then when you unplug it, you unplug it here. And that's your electric, your internet, and your uh, water and sewage. So it unplugs, and then now you have the base that stays, unplugs it, and then it goes, and then when you get into the new section, then just plug, just plug right the umbilical right back in. <laughs> Everything is going to be controlled on an app. Everything. Water digital monitoring systems, utility monitoring systems, um, lighting, uh, the dimness, the coolness. You could program the lights to turn on at specific times. The speakers are being built right into the walls. So all of your music is going to be right from your app. They, oh, so wait, tell them about the door this? thing. You know, oh, oh, yeah, access. Uh, that's actually pretty simple. It's physical security, <laughs> right? Yeah. But your phone is your key. So you, you walk up to the door, you turn your phone, and it unlocks the door. All right, so this is a container that would turn into a house. It's all going to be self-sustainable. They're getting solar power energy. And that's what's going to generate the power to it. You'll get plumbing here. You can stack them. Very spacious. Cheap stuff. It's really about what they can sustain. As long as you can transport this across the country and shit doesn't fall apart. Yeah. As soon as there is sanitary requirements, we're gonna have to tie in the local sewer. Yeah. Yeah. You see the incinerating toilets? You do your shit. I set it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> What's that smell? I flush. You, <laughs> you just got transferred to my job. Okay. Yeah. Take my house uh, with me. Hit the hit the button on the app. Schedule your move. And <laughs> yeah. How much would it be to move one of these? There's a criteria that you have to meet in order to ship a container. Sure. Otherwise, it's not considered a container. So if you start cutting these and doing all this stuff, you're not going to pay the same shipping that you would as just a 40-foot container. container. If somebody hits the, 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 the move me button. You figure that in, exactly. They have, that's a one-time yeah. the payment. Move me button. They'll still put it on You're the ship. You're already you? designing this app. <laughs> <laughs> no. Gus is ready. I hate you. Ask your Talk questions to him. Okay, All right, Gus. Yes, sir. All right, explain to us. Explain to us what this is and what you're doing. OK, so from, from what we're doing here is we're doing a customized 20-foot container with a roll-up door and a window. It's for a very um, picky woman that wanted special color, so it's got a special color door, special window that we're putting in it for, 
Over here, we just have a standard 40 foot high cube container with roll up doors. Um, we're, we do all different types of structures using containers. Hey, you know, hello. I I had no idea Don't what stop. I was getting into. Like you told me, oh, they're bringing a film crew in. I'm like, what? I, I thought I was like, I'm okay. just cutting some containers open. I'm like, I had no idea what this was all about. You don't really know what happens when he's. I know. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of assuming. That. You never know. Never he's trust like, a guy in a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my website's www.chriscontainer.com. Do you say www anymore? No, You're not, not really supposed no. to, right? No. I feel you like my say. dad right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, I was on that, that phone thingy, you know, with the application. <laughs> the um, and, uh, you know, I'm on Facebook. I'm actually really excited, though. Something like this, these are the kind of projects that I like to get involved with as well. Um, and we'd love to help you guys out in doing it. All right, so what the project is, is that we're looking at the future, uh, the new future, the future of housing, uh, really geared towards the young adults and building this up to make it economical for them, make it mobile, give them everything of experiential life through, you know, through living in and part of the environment, but have that mobility and low cost of living to allow them to scale and take risks and build communities and also build that pursuit of happiness and balance while they're in nature, traveling and, grow and growing families. So this here is going to be the, the framework, the phase one of the future of uh, what housing is gonna look like. And what I love about this is that it's not using traditional building materials. So it's not cutting down forests to use as the structural materials. We could bring the steel industry back to the, this country heavily, which would be phenomenal. And you're looking at something that's going to have much more longevity and lifetime over you know the inferior lumber that's being used today on new houses so this is the future of this we got the whole neo adapt program happening partners over there jonathan and anthony jonathan why don't you say uh we said to uh, to bring the steel company back these are there's so many of these that you just buy them there you go and then that's the recycling part that's another sustainable part of it claim. Yeah. Are these repurposed or are these brand new containers? No, no. no. Oh, this is all adaptive. Probably a 12 year old container. So cool. If yeah, not so old. There's so many of them. There's so many of them. Yeah. Anthony, give us your expertise. I'm excited to be uh, a technology and design partner in this process. Um, we're, we're, we're looking to bring a dynamic environment to the future so that you can just say, today I'd like to go live on a beach, and tomorrow I'll go live in the city. We rip you out and bring you there. Pretty basic, pretty basic. Low cost of living anywhere you want. Now we're gonna build this into a land project where we're gonna be acquiring pieces of land, building communities on the land. Okay, there's gonna be high technology. The right. entire I home is going to be able to be communicated way. in through the system oh, sure. of, the, of your unit. <laughs> you Jonathan's gonna be building all of the digital components and we're building landscape, the land the right way to preserve and maintain the natural landscape. Okay. Over here. So, That was so quick to just. I know. It was, I thought it was gonna take longer. It was yeah. like bang, bang. That's just with the forklift. Yeah. Would it, get, would it get transported on something like that? It would like get transported on the flatbed. Flat yeah. Yeah. What is the max gross load that the truck Sixty thousand. You could sixty thousand. Oh, you could stack them. They're built to be stacked eight high at sixty thousand pounds in each container. Stackability. Ooh. We are. We're not even scratching the surface. Yeah, our our structural improvements are going to be so that it doesn't so it break. Doesn't do this. Yeah, 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 so yeah, it this. doesn't break as we're shipping them. Yeah, yeah. He said he can take us to the depot and show us how they claw them out. Get out. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I want to go. I want to see. Do we have to go in and two cars? Why is it so restricted? I can't check containers up. That's sick! Yo, look at that! It's like it's a new world! It's like a Call of Duty map, bro. Yeah! <laughs>
Yeah, we're going off the whole Neo ice cream thing. Yeah. Yeah? Are you really doing that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to use the same chassis. Yeah. We're going to use the same engine, the brain, the umbilical. Yeah. yeah. And all we're doing is upgrading the hardware components for the comforts. That's what is proprietary, you said, the brain? Yeah. In this case, we want to standardize simplicity. So now the phase one of this is having it horizontal, yep. tie-ins, almost like an RV park. Yep. Phase two, vertical. Phase three is rail cars. Taking these containers, dropping them on an 84-foot rail car. You have a patio on each side. You got your umbilical plug-in. And now you can cruise the rails as long as you want, as long as you're paying the, the rail lease fee. And this, the whole premise of this is to, to bring back like luxury rail travel yeah. in the US and then come up with modulated custom rail cars then. Oh, it's old school. Yeah. It looks sick. Well, we, that's what we want to do is just take the old cars now mm -hmm. because we buy them cheap. Restore them, turn the interior gorgeous. All nice woodwork, you know, all teak mahogany inlay. Yeah. Really bring back that old nostalgia. If we need an arcade car because there's kids on board, you can just tie on the whole arcade car. The media car, the lounge car. Yeah. Oh, man. That's phase three. That's it. <laughs> That's an expensive. And we're building the foundations. I'm not your generation. I don't think like you guys. I don't think like the Gen Zs. So all we can do is provide the foundation of here's a good concept. Let's make this concept work. And you guys have to... You guys are the ones to figure this out. Make it work, make it balance. How does it work viably for you guys economically, ecologically, and how does it make sense from the technology and communication standpoint that this could become a replicable and scalable model to just keep placing these things all over the country? Our, our job is to get it out there, I guess. We, yeah, we got and our to fingers live on. it. We got, yeah. yeah, we have to practitioners. Exactly. Yes, practitioners. You practice what you, you lead from the front. Yeah. yeah. The whole goal with this is to make sure that providing a, a viable economic future that you guys, your generation and the next generation, because right now what's happening is that all the baby boomers are going to start becoming a big burden on society, and you guys are the next largest population group, so you guys are going to be the ones economically responsible to carry that whole burden of the next largest population group. It bypasses my generation, we're, we're, I'm of the middle. smallest population yeah. group. So, you know, building a solution like this, if we could bring housing costs down, maintaining a healthy lifestyle and maintaining also a healthy mental mental health mm -hmm. where you're not killing yourselves to work two jobs to just barely get by i think we found a good solution totally man this is this is very exciting yo thank you guys for bringing us here yo. all right guys be safe driving nice to, yeah be good you guys. good meeting you all be good, be good. that's it that's that's storage it. moves until next time from the farm from the, from the cowboy range. <laughs> <laughs> from the cowboy range. Who is out? We're on the farm. This is the container.